Michael Lemieux sort of been all over the lineup throughout the year. He was injured for a while as well. But he's found a nice little spot now on the fourth line in between McKegg, who's been in and out of the lineup as well. Um, and, and that's really those pieces. It was really in the bottom part of the lineup where there was a lot of shuffling going on and going with guys like Haley and Smith. But, you know, now Quinn has been able to see this team for half a year and, you know, he's making the proper decisions on guys like Howden and Lemieux and putting a guy like Di Giuseppe up a little, you know, on the third line and having Kako off the top six. Um, I, I think the only maybe complaint is 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 somehow and i love foss i do I, I i but he's just not someone who should be on the line with panarin um so if we could somehow maybe get foss back on the fourth line or put him on the third line or, or however quinn wants to play that I, that's the only line of decision i think i would change right now and is it kind of safe to say that um you know i'll say it i think coach q is settling him pretty good here i think he's uh he's all right as far as you know he's not going anywhere you know, I think he's been uh, pretty good in terms of adapting to a lot of different things. Um, you know, you take the whole spectrum of everything that we've kind of discussed the whole season, the ups and down, the roller coasters, the goalie situations. He's, you know, he's he's tinkered with this lineup as much as he can. I, you know, we're still, we see signs of his system, um, you know, using the assets that he has uh, to the best of his ability here. But I think he's really turned into a pretty damn good Rangers coach. And I, I don't think uh, we have to worry about that. And I think that whole, that whole idea of him, uh, you know, even the talk of him being fired, which we joked about in the beginning of the season because, the, the, you know, things were kind of going off the rail. And sometimes that's the best thing that can happen to a coach is go through that experience. And then we get to sit back and watch and see if he can rein it in, straighten things out, put everything back on the tracks, and, and take the team forward. So he's been able to do that. Obviously, you know, Ranger fans, we love this team. We want them in the playoffs. We want them a little closer. But, uh, you know, backed up against the rebuild, it's not really that realistic as far as the age of the team and, and the inexperience and so on and so forth. And, yes, the goaltending situation, blah, 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 blah. But I think Coach Q has done a pretty hell of a, uh, a good job here, you know, uh, with uh, where the team is at right now. And um, I think that's probably something that's also good for Ranger fans to maybe – be thankful for it looks like the goal sti- the goaltending situation is going is basically like I said Chessie's number one right now there's no doubt about it they're going to figure out what they're going to do with Georgie and Hank one way or the other so goaltending we're pretty much set and the other thing too now is I think we've pretty much got our coach we're, we're good I think Q's doing a fine job yeah I agree I've been you know I've been you know I I've been you know carrying his water all year you know I've been making water excuses water. for <laughs> it's true but yeah, I mean he's uh he's in he's in the middle of his second year as an NHL coach. I mean, you know, it, it's taken him a little while to sort of learn the ropes as well, you know, and, and, you know, I, again, I was sort of debating with a lot of Ranger fans today on, on the bird app, um, AKA Twitter, um, where busy the last couple of days on that thing. Oh, right? please, please. Get a life, you man. know, Get a life, know, tell, me tell me, Hey, I'm trying to promote the show, Paul. You no, know, we don't get to, yourself, you know, but we'll talk about that in the, uh, in the marketing meeting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, people are like, Oh, Quinn wasted the, you know, the first half of the season because he was playing Smith and he was playing Haley and Howden on the third line, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, it this it's all part of the process. It was all part of the plan. Like you may not be happy with, you know, the plan and, and the way that they're deciding to do this rebuild. But don't say there's not a plan because there's been a plan. And right now it's sort of working to perfection. I, I don't know what else everybody is looking for. Rebuilds take a little while. Like, you know, the, some play, some younger plays take a little bit longer um, to develop than others. Some can take on bigger responsibilities than others. Some need to be in the NHL. Some need to be in the AHL. It's just different strokes for different folks. And and you saw that in the first half of the season. And now it seems as though Quinn is sort of settled in here on the lineup. The team has played, like you said, they've played hard, you know, throughout the season. I, I don't think that Quinn at any point has sort of lost the locker room. I mean, you know, you were concerned at certain points in during the during the year where there was a lot of inconsistencies. Like you said, there was a lot of bad penalties that they were taking, undisciplined and those things. And, you know, maybe you got a little concerned that that Quinn 
maybe didn't have a complete hold in the locker room. But you still have to remember, it's, it's a, such a young roster. You're going to see those kind of mistakes um, from time to time with this team. And it, it seems as though right now a lot of that, as you mentioned, has been cleaned up. Um, you know, you still are, you know, seeing a, a bad line change here and there with this team, which they do need to clean up still. But, you know, for the most part, you're just not seeing all the bad penalties. You're not seeing all the defensive breakdowns that, that you were seeing um, so often in, in the first half of the season. You're not seeing these terrible starts to games that they had in the beginning of the season. So, you know, the team, along with Quinn, is 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 developing. They're growing. This is Every Ranger fan should be, like, so excited right now with what's going on. It just baffles me that I just see just anger out there in Rangerland. I know it's it's Twitter, and that's, Twitter's not real life, but um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's uh, a very, very small percentage. I mean, if you watch yeah. the games at home, buddy, which have been great, the garden is packed. They're going nuts. It's I mean, that's the great thing, too, man. I mean, you know, the real-life part of this and tough. I mean, look, we love Twitter. We're on it all the time. It's a big promotional vehicle for us, too, and we have a great bunch of fans that follow us and talk to us and all that stuff. It's great. But there's no doubt, buddy. I mean, the, the, the fan base is behind this squad. Uh, they're a lot of fun. I mean, the, I can't wait to be there on Sunday uh, just to be back in the garden and, and, and to hang out and be part of the atmosphere one way or the other. So um, there's no doubt. I mean, um, I, the, the majority, 95% of the fan base is absolutely behind this team and loves this team. At least I know who to blame, you know, if the Rangers lose on Sunday. It's going Come on, it's directly on you. I got a gimme. I got a gimme. Directly. Directly on you, my friend. Hopefully, be pre- it is. Uh... <laughs> be prepared Hopefully next it's the Wednesday fifth win in a row, baby. <laughs> for my wrath if they lose, <laughs> but if they win, if they win, that's all because of you as well. I'm just going for the good time, I'm going for the chicks <laughs> and the flags. I like the when they, you know, the green to score and the flags go running all over the place. It's good stuff. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. You like that? <laughs> I'm Why do they do speak. that? Release the flags. When I went to, I told you, I went to the game with my son, and the guy was standing. I was like getting hit in the face with that freaking flag. <laughs> it's like get away from me! I don't want you there. <laughs> Sorry, that's part like, of the whole it, thing. It, I flag people it's, it's like, flags, that, right? That, no, no, no. That's an Islander move. They do that shit. Oh, that stuff. Sorry, <laughs> they do that stuff. <laughs> now I'm really getting angry. They do that stuff. <laughs> At Islander games, not the Ranger games. Well, they have to. They've, I mean, the, the Islanders, unfortunately, for years. I mean, finally now that the squad is playing good, but for years they had to distract people from what was going on on the ice, <laughs> and that's why they were doing all this, the shirts in the air and the, the big, uh, you know, the Zeppelin that flies around. You know, I used to go to a bunch of Islander games, unfortunately, but uh, I yeah, but the it. Rangers are doing all that stuff now. They're doing T-shirt cannons. They get the zeppelin thing flying around i mean my son loved it and stuff but i'm like what is going on here yeah, well i don't know maybe they got somebody who used to work for the island that's going in there really there's a zeppelin flying what? around the garden now yeah oh come yeah, they on got, it's got like the camera I'm on my it's like shot on sunday <laughs> we're gonna have uh we're gonna have uh ice girls soon the rangers you know <laughs> what happened to those are they still around i haven't seen them anymore with the islanders no just in, in the league they still have them I don't know. Well, they mix I, what, it up now. There's ice boys and ice girls now. Yeah, well, you you got to be politically correct. We're, we're getting yeah, really into politics <laughs> on this show today. Probably. You're really. I don't know if that's good or bad for our ratings. Oh, I don't know. Well, pal, look at us, man, flying through the another show here. Um, is there anything that you you definitely got to get in uh, before we wrap this episode up, or, or or can we jump to the the KD Rangers man crush of the week and and and, and uh, you know move on with our lives. Um, I'm looking at my list. Minnesota game, baby. I'm looking at my list, Paulie. I got nothing. You got? Oh, we got nothing. Got nothing. I don't have anything else on my list. I don't. Think. Yeah, it's kind. Of, it's kind of weird when they win a couple of games and they're looking good, and there's nothing to yell and scream about. I mean, look at me. I mean, last week I was, you know, calling for Kako's head, you know, and now you uh, do. I got to I you know, he played one game. for that. What's I got to give you credit. I mean, you went off on him. He obviously listens to the podcast because. <laughs> <laughs> He's been like a different player since <laughs> since you rant since your rant last week. So I think all of our listeners should send you, you know, a little thank you, like tweet or 
email or you know whatever. Well, look, uh, to Paulie thanking you, it's not you know for that. turning Conco's career around. I mean, if yeah. this guy ends up in the Hall of Fame, we can point to that rant as you know the spark. But what I found incredibly interesting or coincidental or whatever the one the hell you want to call it is it was amazing how and it has no relation to whatever it is we joke around who's listening who's not listening but you know Kako was in a lot of the conversations and a lot of the columns like pretty much the next couple of days after that leading up you know Tim finally getting another goal you know so it's just interesting to see you know I mean I, I just thought it was I, I still think it is you know as far as what we were talking about last night in terms of where he's at and everything but man you know, and then you, what do you do? You go out and copy, cried his little quote there. You know, he's a young boy and he's all this stuff. And, <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, you know, you I'm on the copy. payroll, Paul. Yeah, I'm on I the know. Payroll. I'm like, I go off on him and you've been saying that all year. And there's your boy Kreider backing you up with his quote and everything. And I'm sitting there and, and the Twitter feed went nuts. And I'm like, <laughs> Katie's on the couch and he's got a white claw. And he's just, he throws his tweet out, backing up his boy Kako. After I went off on him. Call it like it is, buddy. Get your act together, Kako. <laughs> see goals, what happens. Boys. See what happens, Paul. I said before, you know, I call Gordon every day about my trade proposals. They don't take my calls. But the Rangers PR department, <laughs> they send me stuff all the time. Can you put this stuff out? You know, can <laughs> I'm on the payroll. Well, speaking of uh, Rangers stuff, <laughs> they, better, they better check their management team over there to take the calls from you. Any advice. But I want to thank the guys from uh, We Bleed Blue. I got your shirt, guys. I know you're listening. I really, really appreciate the shirt. But thanks for the new grub. And uh, I plan on wearing it on Sunday, baby. You got a so, shirt? Why not I get a shirt? I got a shirt. Well, you know, you're too busy on Twitter, man. You know? Wow. I'm, I'm like, going you know, to I'm gonna have to have a talk with those guys <laughs> sending you a shirt. Hey, from what I understand, you have a closet full of We Bleed Blue <laughs> stuff, okay? <laughs> so I don't want to hear it. I- I have some specialty <laughs> items too that they send over sometimes. <laughs> From the lingerie, it's exactly the catalog of their website. Exactly, oh, exactly. Jesus. All right, buddy. Uh, give me, give me the Katie's uh, Rangers man crush of the week. My man crush of the week is on White Claw for coming out with the new watermelon flavor. <sighs> Did you see this? I haven't, I haven't been able to go out and buy it yet, Paulie. But I am stoked for watermelon. Like the show doesn't even matter. It doesn't like you know. <laughs> just it's all about Katie's favorite. <laughs> it's not Katie's man crush of the week anymore. It's Katie's favorite white claw flavor of the week. Is that what we're gonna do now? Well, you know, I gotta get in touch with White Claw and sponsor this this little thing at the end. Well, right? I was gonna say, I, I think I'm gonna have to try to find them, and I don't know if they're in the. I, I haven't seen the watermelon yet at the grocery store, but maybe we'll do like a oh, taste no. test. On air see next you walk in the streets with the hood over yourself and, <laughs> you know, coming up to people with the watermelon. <laughs> we, you know what we should do? We should, you know, get like cameras and stuff and like, and like do like a taste test where we just put them out, you know, blind taste test. We'll have like White Claw and Truly and the Bud Light Seltzer and, you know, we'll, well buddy, see if we hey, can, which, is, which tastes best. Well, I'll tell you what, buddy, you know, you know, I started my new show tonight down in Rockville Center. Down in Arugas, that hockey show. I think I'm going to send it out. Maybe we'll get the Ranger fans to sign a petition. Come down and co-host the show with me, buddy. We'll get White Claw. We'll get them all out on the table. We'll have some taste tests. We'll have we'll do some giveaways. Let's have some fun. Why don't you Why don't you come out of the man cave down there and come out <laughs> and hang out with your buddy Paulie and let's talk, talk some puck at Arugas, baby, and we'll get all the fans to come out and we'll have a great time. Come on, man. We'll make it a White Claw night. Arugulas? Is that the name of the place? No, it's Arugas. <laughs> Arugas. Arugas. Uh, <laughs> They're based out of Pennsylvania, okay. man. It's a, it's an Amish thing. Okay, they're good people. <laughs> they make great food, and it's an okay. awesome place. Nice. We had a great time. Right, maybe, tonight. maybe I we'll have to set love, it up. I would love you and all our Ranger friends to come on down and hang out. It's a great hockey night. There's tons of special. You wear if you wear your hockey jersey down there, Katie. Get this: half price drinks the whole night. Oh yeah, any White jersey too. White, White clothes, too? Anything you want. <laughs> all, Tell right. Them you I, know I, all right. I may have to head down there. <laughs> we got to set it up. All right, man. Well, there you go, buddy. Episode 19 in the books. To all you fans out there who've been uh, downloading and listening to us every week, you guys are the best. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and keeping us up in the charts. We're having a blast doing this. And, hey, let's get a couple more wins, bring back some happiness. Hey, buddy, we got to talk. It's the winter break next week. I have to take a week off. 
Slacking. Maybe I'll do the show by myself, Paul. I'll, I'll do the. I'll, I I wouldn't even know how to do it. <laughs> how do you turn this thing on? There you go, Ranger fans. There's your.